triangle. These are again a combination of multiple uh, patterns or multiple can candlesticks. So ascending triangle is, uh, let me just take an example of uh, caterpillar. Okay. This was an ascending triangle, meaning that yes, the bottoms are going up and the tops are not going up that much. So if I draw a trend line joining from bottom to bottom until here, right? And then join the top from here, you would see that the bottom line is kind of constant and the top line trend line is coming uh, and converging towards the bottom line. So it forms a uh, triangle formation, which is called ascending triangle. In ascending triangle, you are going up, but the price action is not that significant. Meaning you're definitely going up, but your average trading range has reduced and you're finding difficulty to cross uh, that level and then you fall. So similar to here, if you see Caterpillar has an ascending triangle, it failed to cross and uh, cross this line and then it fell down. So again, from a technical trading perspective, you need to understand what all patterns are there, moving averages are there, and then use them for your own inference. Again, as I said previously, a few minutes back, technical analysis is analysis of the data in front of you. You need to trade on what you see. You do not need to trade on what you feel. Okay. Technical analysis is art. For that, you have to spend time to observe the stocks, evaluate the patterns, make your trend lines, set your moving averages, and then take a calculated trade. Most of the people I know, they trade day trading as, or uh, swing trading as gambling. No, it is not. It is a science where you need to invest time figuring out what needs to be done. If A plus B makes something, you need to be ready to grab that opportunity by your hands and then use that opportunity to make money. Okay, so let's move forward. Then we have concept of intraday swings and uh, long-term trading. So what is...